everyone, and welcome, welcome to an absolutely gorgeous day here on Wildberry Island, where we are carrying on another day of Vlogmas celebrations. And today, now that we have another day of snow on the ground, I'm so excited. We're actually going to be celebrating the arrival of winter by making an ice skating rink by Audie's house. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope she's going to like it. I searched for so long to find some really fun QR codes, and now we've got a whole bundle of them we're going to be putting down and I actually went ahead and took care of a few things before we got started with all of you here today my friends like gathering up a whole bunch of food the island today was actually a farming island that was covered in potatoes just piles of potatoes everywhere and I actually learned how to make carrot scones so we didn't make carrot scones just yet but I made a bunch of gnocchi and I made a whole bunch of gratin and we're going to go ahead and give some of that away to the villagers and we'll sell the extra Access. We also need to go and identify a whole bunch of these fossils and I brought home a ton of glowing moss from yesterday's island because look at this! It looks so pretty when it's down on the winter snow. I love it. Oh, and then when spring comes around my moss is going to be glowing everywhere. It makes for like the perfect decorative touch. I'm very very pleased with this. Oh, also, I learned a really amazing new DIY recipe that I need to share with you guys that um, is going to probably be my favorite recipe for vines yet. So I'll show that to you guys as well. So we've got quite a bit to do today. Let's see, ice rink, fossils, showing off DIY, tossing around adorable decorations, visiting with all of our villagers. It's a full day of fun here in Wildberry. Oh, hey, there's Diva and uh, Octavian hanging out. How are you doing? Morning. Best time for a walk, right? Wonder how much walking I've done on this island so far. Must have been close to setting a record. Aliens! Octavian, Octavian. It, I feel like it's been a little while since we've seen Grandpa Octavian. Let's give him some ganochi. Octavian, stay warm on these wintry days. Well, well, well. You can trust this octopus nose. Thought I smelled ganochi. Gonna save that for when I want to treat myself. Thanks, aliens! Have a bunny nose! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Thank you very much, Octavian. Alright, and I feel like Diva got up when she smelled the Ganochi, so let's go ahead. I can't decide what I want to do next. Do I want to go bug catching, fishing, maybe gardening? Huh, too many choices. She seems really happy on our island. Let's go ahead and give her some Ganochi as well, because, you know, she seemed to want some when she got up. Nice choice! Thanks a ton, Siri. Have a kid's smock. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so that's another kid's smock. So the villagers seem to be indicating like that they feel things are a little childish lately. <gasps> oh, look who it is! Shari! Did you just end up finding this amazing fossil all on your own? Thank you. I'm headed right over to Blathers uh, right now. And actually, Brewster has a Nook Miles request for us to go and pop over to his place. So we're also going to see what Brewster's up to. Shari? I'm all about having fun, but I also love sitting, so I guess this is a sit party. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back, Shenny. Let me go ahead. We'll grab some warm hot tea to keep us feeling, you know, not like we're going to freeze to death while we're making an ice rink. And we'll also gently poke... Okay, we'll get the, the tea first. And then while we've got the pretend caffeinated zoomies, we'll gently poke blathers to identify all those fossils. I had to spend so much money getting the super secret item that I don't know if I'll show to you guys just yet. It was extremely expensive. Hello, Brewster. Yes, yes. A nice cup of coffee, please. I'm gonna have a little sip of my peach tea in real life. Ah, very good. Flavor is at its peak when the coffee is served at 176.35 degrees. Better drink it while it's fresh. I'll do just that, but that's too hot if you ask me. I'm going to definitely like message my coffee loving family and ask like, is that true? Because I'm pretty sure you're going to burn your tongue off. Alright, another nice day here at Brewster's. Thank you very much, Brewster. Alright. Look at that. Nook Miles. I don't want to neglect Brewster either. He's new to our island as well. There we go. There. Alright, well, wiggle out. Let's go poke Blathers. 
And I'm so excited to get this ice rink built for Audi, you guys. All right, Blathers, how you doing? Sorry, I know, I know. Sleep during the day, I apologize. All right, let's go ahead and assess these fossils. There, oh, look at all the cool stuff we've got in our pockets, you guys. I'm so proud to have that much food. I just whipped it up before we all met so that that way we could just hand it out to the villagers. Gosh, I can't believe we've already got all of these. We're just missing like one or two fossils. And that started to make me think that like, I really want to improve the museum more. That maybe some projects that we'll work on for the next year. Really trying to like fill out Red's things, making sure we have all of the different donations. But all right, now that that's taken care of, let's see, oh, Mama Sky's home. Oh gosh, and there's another fossil. Well, we'll worry about that one later. Let's come over and visit with Sky, and maybe she's cooking. I really want to learn a new recipe from Mama Sky. That would make me so happy. Oh, she's crafting. Hey, Sky. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm currently crafting an iron ladder setup kit just to see how I do at it. <gasps> what? Butterbean, want to learn how to make your own iron ladder setup kit? Oh my gosh, Sky, that's totally new. I didn't know you could make like iron ladder versions. Thank you very much, Sky. All right, let me go ahead and learn how to do that real quick. Because I have the wooden ladder setup kit that I've learned, but I didn't know the iron one. And this is a perfect segue to go ahead and show you guys. Oh, I forgot to give her her gift. No, Mama Sky, I'm coming back. I have a ganochi for you. I really want to make some sweet potato ganochi today, now that I've been talking about it so much. Oh, that actually sounds really good. Maybe I'll do that for Chips and I's dinner. That's how I could use up the mushrooms that are in the fridge. Yes. All right, don't mind me, friends. Oh, look at those pancakes. I made some good pancakes for Sky, huh? All right, Sky, would you like some ganochi? You're sure you don't mind sharing your ganochi? Thank you. A flight crew uniform. Thank you very much, Sky. All right, I'll just tuck that away. Never know when you might get like another one of the villagers' gifts because we have gotten so, or the pictures, not gifts. Sorry about that. We've gotten so many of them. I really haven't seen Sheldon lately, but we have projects to do. Julian and Audie are both home. Or, so we'll go ahead. Hey, Julian, speaking of Italian, I do have something for you. Moving to Wildberry was the best decision I ever made because you live here. Still makes me so happy every time you say that, Julian. Would you like to give me a fifth version or like a fourth or fifth version of your photo with this uh, Ganochi? Here you are, my friend. Gasp, swoon, Alexandra. How'd you know I was suffering from a deep Ganochi craving? Maybe because you suddenly started speaking Italian at me. All right, all right, let's see. <gasps> Wait, Ido Perry and Merchant outfit? Were you just starring in a movie and came back with some of the costuming, Julian? Like, what the heck? I don't think I've ever heard about this one. All right, let's put this down. Hey, this looks really cool. I like it a lot. I don't think I've ever seen this before. All right, I'm gonna actually keep this one. Thank you, Julian. Oh, and now that we're actually down here next to Audie's house, I'm gonna go ahead and water all of her pumpkins. I'm actually thinking that we're going to replace her pumpkins with maybe sugar cane, or I thought about getting rid of it all together, but I think Audie really does love going ahead and having like a little garden. So let's go ahead and we're gonna give her some gratin so that I can see how much the Ganochi sells for at the Nookling Brothers. And then, my friends, we are going to work on making none other than the ice skating rink for Audi. Have you already seen the Happy Home Academy results, Siri? How'd you do? I haven't looked at my score yet. It feels so weird. Folks I don't know looking into my windows and telling me what they think. But I also love winning prizes, so I leave my blinds wide open and my front door unlocked. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Audi, I have a gift for you. How would you like some gratin? Let's see. Oh, how about the orange pound cake, actually? I didn't know I still had that one on me. All right, orange pound cake, which sells for about like 1,000. Black brick flooring, thank you, Audie. Gosh, she's giving me a lot of flooring out of all of the villagers. It's been really nice. But uh, let's see. The pound cake sells for 1,250 bells, if I remember correctly. So let's go see what the other things sell for. 
and what the Nookling Brothers happen to be selling today. And then we're going to make the ice skating rink. I'm so excited. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yes, I want that floral scone. I just might be able to have that recolored by Reese and then like get away with maybe that looking. Oh, and these, perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, the garden lantern. This is so ironically perfect. All right, so we're gonna grab the garden lantern. I love this and would love to set up this elaborate kimono stand. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm going to need to like, I don't even, I legitimately don't have enough money for that. Even with the ABD, I, I don't. Curses. All right, what about over here? Mini circuit? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it and put it somewhere safe because I want to make sure I have enough toy day toys. Uh, but there we go, guys. Oh, that's right. I need to see how much the boys will buy some of these things for. Oh, that's right. Turnips might be for sale. We'll see if we can maybe get the turnip recipe. So I might have to go and see what, um, keeping that Edo period merchant thing, but we will have to go see what Daisy Mae is selling and maybe grab some of those turnip recipes from her. I don't think I buy enough turnips from her to be able to get the recipe, but Chip's got it. He really likes to work with turnips. All right, all right. And let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and sell. So let's find out. Ganochi, how much will you buy this for? Hmm. Oh, 2,000 bells. What? Okay, so that's actually worth a lot more than the pound cake. And it's worth more than the pizza. So Ganochi definitely might be worth making. And it's really nice that we can give such expensive gifts to the villagers now because it raises the chance, as we've seen, of getting their photo so much more. Okay, and Groton only sells for 2,000. So you wanna go with Gnocchi. They're the same number of ingredients. Just you use one flour versus one potato when you switch between the two of them. And it seems like if you're going to have the five ingredients turned into one of the foods, you want to go with the gnocchi. Got it. All right. Well, now that that is done, friends, we now have some very exciting work to do over here. Let me come down and customize the garden lamp. Really? Really? I can't customize the garden lantern? I'm going to have to wait for Reese to be able to help me customize that, but we are going to be able to do that. But for now, it's time to do some really cool DIYs. Or I said DIY. Well, actually, you know what? I meant the DIY because what I wanted to do in my heart wasn't make the ice skating rink right now. It was show you guys one of those new things that I've learned how to craft. The vine crown. Yeah, the vine crown. There's a vine crown. I didn't even know there was a vine crown. I'm so excited! I've not worn it yet, but I think it's going to be like the new thing. Oh, look at this! It's so cute! I love it so much! It just doesn't fit my Vlogmas outfit! Oh, So that's why I haven't like worn it, but we can now make vine crowns, which makes me very, very happy. But alright, so it's time to go ahead and do some serious island designing. Let's start some construction. Okay, okay. And let's begin. So guys, we're going to be putting down a custom design today uh, from some QR codes that I searched for absolutely everywhere of a beautiful ice skating rink. And I even managed to find some ice hockey blades, some snow piles, a little snow bunny. We have some like snowy, um, snowy leaves that we can decorate all around the place, a snow angel. We even have some holly. Like, this is gonna be really pretty. I am gonna show you guys what we're gonna do with a lot of this later. But for now, <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to get this done. Okay, we're gonna need to move this tree. This tree is in the way. We can make a much bigger ice skating rink if this tree wasn't here. Oh, this is so cool. I can't wait to see which villagers use it. And then we can say that they're like the ones who like ice skating the most. And I know I said I wanted to leave out this like ice skating dress, but I'm gonna have to think about it. Let's move it out of the way for now. And this tree has gotta go down. It's in the way. All right, let's go ahead, grab this, and chop chop. Oh, I'm sorry, 
Mr. Bagworm. Oh, I feel so bad. I didn't know that somebody was living in that tree. Oh, oh dear. All right, I'll have to replant some trees to like make up for it. Maybe I'll move some of the cedar trees over here. Oh, wouldn't this be a cute little Christmas area to set up? Let's see. And then I'm trying to think if we want to move Audie's garden, but I feel like this is a big enough spot for her ice skating rink, especially because I don't know like what we're going to decorate around the ice skating rink. But we'll make it a little bigger over here because having it an unusual size, I think would be kind of fun. Let's see, we'll have it go to here. And then maybe a little further on this side. Oh, I love her little gyroids. All right, so here's the beginning of her ice skating rink. And now we need to go ahead and pick like the top path. Hmm, I really hope I, I can figure out how to make this properly. Cause I just realized what if I didn't do the turns right? But I think we'll, I think we'll manage. Whoops. Okay, that actually didn't quite work out the way I was hoping. I need this one. And then, oh, I see. So if I wanted to make that one actually turn, I need to have this one right here. Aha, well that's okay because what happened now is I at least have a rough idea of like where I want the ice skating rink to go. Oh, you can layer like two? I didn't know you could layer two. Wow, okay, hang on. Oh, wait, 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 I see what I did. Huh, oh, of course, I'm not, ah, no, I'm, I'm putting the wrong ones down, okay. Okay, I will fix this, I will fix this, don't worry, because this one goes on this side, got it. And then if I want the other ones to turn, can you tell I've not really made one of these paths before? Or like one of these little sections before? But look at that, I'm starting to figure it out. Okay, so those are all the ones that turn down like that. Then I want one that turns like this, right here. Let's see. And then we're gonna come over. Oh, pretty little snowflake is coming by. I need this path right here. Excellent. Okay. And then let's do the bottom path. Oh, I wonder what should I put on the like ice skating rink? I wonder if there's, oh, hey, there's Daisy Bay. After we finish this, we'll reward ourselves with buying some turnips from her in the hopes of being able to go ahead and get that turnip recipe. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one right here and then another one. Uh-oh. I couldn't move. Oh, maybe that's because Daisy May. Hi, hi Daisy May. When I'm done, I will reward myself with buying from you. But for now, give me just a second. So there we go, curving up like that. Oh, and I hear a balloon coming. I wonder what the Winds Above Wildberry will reward us with today. So let's do these two. Excellent. All right, we'll, we'll pause for just a moment because the winds above Wildberry are literally bringing us a gift directly to our ice skating rink. <gasps> oh no, Octavian's Bane! My slingshot, it's gone. Oh, that's all right. We'll fix it eventually. What do we have? 10,000 bells. <laughs> all right, we've got a little bit of funding for the ice skating rink. I'll take it. There we go. And then let's come over and do this one. And then I'm gonna need, no, not that one. I need this spot. There we go. Wow, these take a lot of like careful planning in order to make. I've always kind of known that, but I have even more respect for the people who actually like sprinkle their entire island so that all of their QR codes like look well and everything matches well. I think we're almost done, friends. We just have to make sure the ice freezes up properly. Hey, and I guess we can actually leave the dresses like on the ice skating rink. Of course, the figure skating stuff. All right, so we're gonna do that one. And then I think what I wanted to do, hmm. Yeah, let's make this one just a little bit bigger. So we'll come at the bottom. And whoops, that's a snow angel. 
Okay, adding in snow angels is gonna be so much fun too. I have never been ice skating actually, but I saw somebody doing it in um, a cute little vlog of themselves in Japan yesterday actually. And it made me wonder like maybe it would be fun to ice skate. I've rollerbladed before when I was a kid. I was a lot more squishy and able to handle like sudden falls back then, but I wouldn't mind trying again. Also, no, 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 get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, dang it. All right, there's another one over here. Yes! Decorative snowflake, perfect timing! We can come down and we can actually leave the snowflake on the ground. Let me grab one. And then we'll go ahead and drop it. So cute! I love it! And now I can come over and we can drag some of the ice skating dresses and things out like this. So it can be on the ice skating rink. And speaking of things that can go on the ice skating rink, I also have, ta-da, some hockey blades. Okay, that actually replaced it and it wasn't supposed to. Let me try right here. There we go. I liked the idea of leaving like a couple hockey blades near the ice skating rink. So it's like the villagers can go ahead and pick them up. All right, let's fix the ice I melted by accident. And there we are. That's like one of my very first big QR projects I've ever tried to do. It looks so cute. Let me see if I have any more like ice skating outfits that we could go ahead and put out for all of the villagers to enjoy. Oh, and how about this? If we see the villagers looking at some of the outfits, we'll go ahead and just pick them up and give it to them. All right, anything that could be used for ice skating. Let's see. Hmm. Not really. Not there. We'll check here. Oh, the ballet outfit. That actually would work really well. We can put that out. Um, and actually the uniform might look really good for being on the ice skating rink. And maybe the fairy dresses. Oh, how about the flashy animal costume that looks like a little yeti? Or what about the festive tree dresses? Okay, those actually could be pretty cute. I'm gonna get the yeti one out as well. And I think that those are probably pretty good. There's actually a lot of things that we could use as a quote unquote ice skating dress. And then, like I said, if the villagers happen to look at it, don't worry, Daisy May, I'll spend some time with you in just a second. If the villagers happen to come over and like check out the ice skating dresses, then we'll go ahead and give it to them. Shoei, -yi, I would not be surprised if you were the very first ones, one of the very first one of the villagers who actually ended up with a new, new dress or something from this. All right, this is really cool. And of course, Julian would be here. He's like, oh, I see. Oh, they're talking. Well, this is the worst. I'm going home. This is all your fault, Julian. Wait, what? I'm so sorry. I never meant to upset you. Why did you tell me you'd never played Space Hammer Blaster? It made my victory feel worthless. I'm sorry. I lied about not having played the game before because I felt bad about losing. The way you play, it's masterful. You're the one with the game. That is the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> okay, so they managed to recover their their little their little relationship. That was really cute. And of course they would be the first two to come out when I'm putting down like new clothes. Alright. And then I think I'll leave this one turned like this. Oh, this looks so cute, you guys! I love it! And I think the winds above Wildberry are <gasps> Winds of a Wildberry, why? <laughs> I was gonna say are rewarding us because now we have another, now we have another like present floating through the sky, but I don't have the pieces for it. Freaking neat slingshot, please give. There's money coming down from my trees rather than branches. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If I move quickly, over here friends. To the shed! All right, let's go ahead and get something out. It's fun to see Shelly and, um, Shelly and Julian hanging out and interacting with one another. All right, I know I have some branches in here. Yes, finally, grab them. All right, and we'll reinforce this puppy with some iron. All right, quickly, quickly. 
I should put more small building sites. Oh, look at our cute little ice skating rink. I'm really happy with this. All right, let's see. Need, oh, look at, oh, that's a really cool ladder setup. Gosh darn it, stones. Why don't I have a stone? You know what? Uh, no, don't forget about it. Don't forget about it, Siri, come on. Be serious. I know I have a, a stone somewhere around here. I can smack it. For crying out loud. <laughs> Why do I never have these things when I need them? Please don't be the money rock out of the blue. All right, little pill bug. Iron. Oh my gosh. Stone! Finally! <laughs> All right. Why don't I have more crafting benches set up? See, these kinds of emergencies are how you know that you need to work on the layout of your island. Oh, all right, here we go. Did I seriously just go so fast I used up my stone to make a flimsy axe? I think we're done here. I think we're good. Yes, mm-hmm, that's fine. You know what, yeah, whoops, no! 